So in this video, we're going to start looking at how we can uh, create some roadways um, using the subdivide, but also the split element tool. So to give it some feature and to make it 3D rather than completely flat. So all I've got here is a, um, a topo surface, or a topo solid rather, and it's a topo solid. It's grassland 1200, so it's a fairly standard one. Nothing's been done to it. So the first thing I need to do is to create a subdivide. So click on the outside, click on subdivide, and then we can start drawing. So I'm just going to start drawing this up. We'll come straight up. Doesn't matter the dimensions of this one. You can have yours any shape you want. Make it a bit more interesting by putting a curve in it. Like so. Um, I'm then going to use the pick lines tool, but this time with an offset. And the offset is going to be four meters. Four meters. And you can see that when I try to place the line, I can offset it by four meters. I'm then going to use the straight line tool, but change the offset back to zero again. Otherwise, I'll have trouble drawing it <clears throat> to create the loop. All good. So into the category, um, I'm going to choose some asphalt. I don't like this light grey one, it's far too light. So down here somewhere we've got, here it is, the uh, asphalt pavement dark grey. So we'll just chuck that one up into there. Click on dark grey and I'm going to set the height to 1 because I can't set it as a negative, which is why we're doing it this way. So there we are, we've got our subdivide on the top. <clears throat> what I need to do now is lower this down. So in order to do that, I've got to separate it from uh, the rest of it. So back into level 0. And we've got our split element tool. So I'm in the modify tab, and in here I've got the split element tool. So I click on that, click on the um, topo surface edge, topo solid edge, and I can then start drawing or picking lines. In this case, I'm going to start picking lines because I've already drawn the lines. So I'm just going to pick them from the subdivide boundary, like so, and then green tick. You'll always get this delete instances. So just Click delete instance, that's fine. And then you can see now we've got one, two, three separate surfaces. So for this one here, I can just click on the underside of it. And then the height offset, I can set that to a negative figure, so minus 150 in this case. Drops the whole thing down 150. Now the underside's not flat, it's not um, straight and true. Um, that bothers me, it might not bother you, but if you want to uh, adjust that, just click on this, go to edit type. Uh, in uh, in edit type, before we change anything, we need to duplicate. Really important we duplicate. I'm going to call this one road. So go road. And then into here, I need to reduce the thickness by 150 mil. So I could take 150 mil off this earth thickness. Or actually, I don't really want the sand. So I'm just going to click on there and delete that because that's 150 mil. just so happens. Click OK. And there you can see it all lines up. So that's how you've dropped the road down. Um, We've got this little instance here where we've got um, a dirt upstand or an earth upstand, which we don't really want. So we've got to put a curb round or a path or something like that. So uh, we'll put a, um, a path round on the outside of this. So back into level zero. So it's going to be exactly the same process again to put the path in. So the first thing I need to do is click on here and then subdivide. And then when I'm in subdivide, I can pick lines. So I can now pick these inner ones. And again, I can now offset. This time I'm going to go for a meter and make sure that we click to the outside and then straight line. Don't forget to change the offset back to zero. And I can then close up the loop, finish it off. Green tick, change the category to asphalt dark gray and then the subdivide height to one. Back from the 3D view now, we can see we've got this subdivide on the top, um, but I've still not got this upstand that I need. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to split this element. So back into level zero, click on here. Uh, so I don't need to click on there, just go split element first, then click on the side of there. And then now I can start picking my lines that I want to split. So I'm going to go around and create, again, same as I did with the road, this is with the path. Split that lot, delete the instances, that's not a problem. Back to my 3D. And I've now got four different uh, topo solids. So I can now click on the underside of this one here. And then when I go into edit type, we're going to duplicate. 
and I'm going to call this one path. And uh, in the structure, I don't need to adjust the thickness of it. That's not a problem. Uh, the problem I've got is what it looks like. So this one where it says Earth, I want to change that to well, and I'm going to use the dark grey one again. Click OK, click OK, and now we can see that we've got this um, this curb as it should, this sorry, this path with this upstand as it should be. So that's how you do that. Um, next job. Uh, we could put a curb around the inside of here, so that would be exactly the same process as doing the path, but we're just going to make it a lot thinner. So into level zero, um, I'm going to click on the inside of here, click subdivide, and I'm going to pick lines again. So I pick these ones first. I'm then going to have an offset. This time the offset's going to be quite small, 150 mil, because that's going to be the size of my curb. Around the outside, back into straight line don't forget me offset back to zero and then i'm going to finish up by just clicking those into there and then green tick and what i've now got if i go into my 3d view is i've now got this um subdivide which i need to click on and change the materials and the height so the materials i'm going to change that again to the asphalt dark gray and then the height going to change that back to uh, and you can see it's as it should be and then once again I need to, as I did with the path I'm going to change the curb I'm going to split the element of the curb so into level zero uh, pick on split element which is this tool here and we're going to click on the topo solid that it's going to be split from and then use my pick lines tool actually create sometimes when they're quite small you need to zoom right in like that and then zoom right in for this short one there green tick delete instances back into my 3d so we can now see how this is going to turn out so again with this one here edit type and duplicate and this one i'm going to call this one curb Again, in the structure where it says Earth, we'll go into here and go asphalt, dark grey, OK, OK. And there you can see we've now got this smaller curb running around the inside as well. So we've got this uh, roadway now that looks a lot more uh, realistic than uh, what we had before. If you want to change the materials of things, you can. So if you don't really want this um, uh, to be uh, asphalt, you can change it. Uh, lots of different things you can choose. Um, some slabs in there. There's all sorts of um, things like pavers. And pavers. We've got brick pavers. So we can send that into there. Double click on that. It turns it into pavers as well. So there's lots of different materials you could use as well. But that's um, giving the roadways and the pathways three dimensions rather than just sitting nice and flat. And that's how you do it.